let Lassie go. I know this isn't a dumb shark episode. Because the dumb shark is motion picture puppets and toys. But let Lassie go. This is basically a teaser trailer on Monster City. Um, for two nutshells coming up. I'll be in the Lassie in a nutshell. And also in, um, in Jurassic Park and World franchise in a nutshell. Let Lassie go. Whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. No, no. What's that, Lassie? Rough, rough. It looks like he won't make it in one piece. Neither will I. Whoa, man. Just let go. Hello everyone and welcome to Monster City. Welcome to Monster City. I can't say things a little bit too fast, but um that's okay. Um I'm your host, as always, for Monster City, Spencer Rutherley. And uh Well today we are going to look at a custom action figure review of a creature that I had in my dreams. Named Tygon. And it was a basically a dream about this action figure I really wanted on Amazon. And I couldn't buy it because I woke up before I could buy it. And then I decided to go ahead and make it. And here we are now. I finished uh, creating it yesterday. It took me... A couple of hours. Um, action figures used to take me about a day to make, or about two days. Um, but nowadays they take me only one day or a couple of hours in a day. Um, I'm saying day too much, but um, yeah, this is a figure that I kept on um, improvising to make with its tail most of the part and also this because it has to have a we it has to have some sort of weapon on its feet even um, but hands are a weapon too from my improvisation uh, from finishing up I decided to use wires for its hands. Um, definitely an inspiration from one of my favorite movies, uh, Edward Scissorhands, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. I just improvised a few minutes ago with the wire here. And um, I improvised with the purple eye and the robotic purple eye. Um, this figure was built using aluminum foil as you may be able to see the shininess here um, um, I think there's a rip here you can't really see it that well there it is I also used Legos for the robotic um, con consistence to its legs um, and of course I used uh, wireframe material, bendable, posable wireframe material, that is. And also air dry clay from XArt or just the foam like fluffy air dry clay. Not much to see about this figure, except there's a whole bunch of skin pigmentations around him. 
I had to um, use a lot of those because well, I started mixing up a lot of um, oranges because I remember him being a beige orangish creature. I did it the best I could. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, as you saw from the Lassie capture and the other guy capture from the, um, basically a teaser trailer for two films coming out on the Dumb Shark. One of the channels I created. Um, his hands are poseable. They're very loose. Uh, but that is fixable with just using more wire on the hands. I have a lot of it right now. A lot of wire. Um, so let's get to some articulation. Uh, so there's this. That, uh, all these fingers do move at any direction they want. Makes it more loose. Uh, same on the other hand. So yeah, this thing came directly from my imagination. Um, it was a drawing that I did as well for this creature. Um, same on the other hands, or arms. Ball joint, basically. Um, hinge. Hinge, swivel. Um, these are just basically extra articulated parts. Same on the other leg, basically. The tail basically zigzags wherever it wants. It's definitely an inspiration from uh, Grievers, as um, they're all biomechanical, and also um, yeah, they have a lot of mechanics and uh, cybernetics to them. Probably, I think they're fully machines um, with uh, basically weird synthetic skin uh... but I just like the uh... mechanic feel to action figures, kind of a post-apocalyptic um... nature to some creatures having skin and mechanics half half um... Well, half bio, wait, half biological, half uh, mechanical, basically. Kind of like cyborgs. That's kind of um, the nature I kind of like. I like xenomorphs, which are biomechanical and exoskeletal. Um, I like animatronics and other like cyborgs. I like to. Um, my favorite creatures uh, that I've made so far, well, I'll show you those, uh, that fit the, well, it's only one that I have, basically. I'll show you it. So here is Humunculus, a creature that came from my mind. I uh, started doodling in a class back then, probably in September. 
of 2017, beginning of ninth grade, started doodling, uh, came up with this, basically a inspiration from Wild Mutt from Ben 10, and uh, a griever, definitely, uh, because it has no eyes, and basically a cat, base, kind of, um, in its nature. And there's also a uh, creature that's named uh, you know, Chong, I think, which means birdworm in Japanese. And he is a, um, he's called a birdworm. Basically a inspiration from uh, the miniature uh, Transformers from the Transformers line. And also a um, kind of inspiration from Laserbeak from the Transformers movie line as well. I like the biomechanics from that. Um, yeah, Transformers is definitely ex an exception to uh, mechanical monsters. This is probably my favorite, at most, for, um, biomechanics. He's very loose right now. But yeah, these are my figures. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, or don't do that. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. I'm, I'm just a person on YouTube as the Dumb Shark, and my other channel, Spencer Weatherly, which is me, Spencer Weatherly. Uh, I'm just doing what I can do. I'm just doing um, whatever I feel like doing. Haven't been on YouTube for a while for Monster City and the Dumb Shark. Uploaded a video on the dumb shark today. Um, uh, I forgot my password to this account that I'm using for Monster City, so I cannot uh, give a link for the dumb shark video, the new dumb shark video, which sucks. I could try it. Um, well, I'm Spencer Weatherly. Welcome to Monster City. Signing out.